Hi everyone, thanks for joining me today. We're going to take a trip from Salmon Arm to Armstrong, but we're going to be going the back way along a road called Deep Creek, uh, Deep Creek Road. So we're just on Highway 1 here, Trans Canada Highway. It's going to be a short, short little stretch here, just to the corner. So we're making a right here. This is Highway 97B. And this is the highway that would take you south through the Okanagan. This next road here on the right, it actually doubles back to Salmon Arm and it goes through uh, the industrial park, Salmon Arm Industrial Park. So if you needed, uh, you know, any kind of special work done, that's the way you'd go. There's a couple of golf courses along here. Uh, I think we've passed about three of them so far, but quite a number of them in the in this area so I've cut out a little bit here along here it's uh, pretty straightforward up to this point this is where you're going to turn to the right and this is Deep Creek Road if you were to continue going straight, that's going to take you to uh, down to Enderby and uh, Highway 97A, I guess it is. I get the kind of all mixed up, but I think that's 97A that, that joins up to. That's 97B. And uh, anyway, these both go the same direction. This one takes maybe, I don't know, maybe five minutes longer to get to Armstrong but it's a lot more scenic and it's a decent enough road even in the winter it's it's not bad you just see stuff that uh, yeah it's a lot a lot nicer okay there's got a tool museum on the left never gone in there but uh, it's one of those things you drive past all the time and you say I'm going to check it out one day. A lot of these trees here are apple trees on the side of the road. I think they um, kind of volunteer as they've fallen out of uh, fruit trucks or whatever that uh, from the orchards around here. And uh, you'll drive by and you'll see just full of apples in the fall. So you could probably harvest some free apples if you wanted.
you know, for five minutes difference, why would you want to be on the highway? You know, like, this is, uh, this is the weekend before the main long weekend. And there's nobody on this road. And there seldom is. You might occasionally, um, you know, meet a tractor hauling hay or something like that if they're harvesting, but yeah, other than that, there's, yeah, not a lot of industrial type traffic along here. sort of stuff. Um, you might even see a moose, but I haven't seen any on this road, but close by, within a couple miles of here, I've seen moose, so kind of pay attention to the potential animals jumping out of the trees or something. This is a stop sign, you kind of, yeah, kind of not expecting a stop sign on this road, but if you're coming the other direction and you have the right of way, it's 
they don't have to stop but this way this direction you have to stop so sneaks up on you if you don't know what's coming Here we're going to join up with Salmon River Road. We've gone this route uh, the other direction before heading to Salmon Arm down uh, uh, Salmon River, Silver Creek kind of route. One of my earlier videos. Whoa, geez, that's close. Pretty recognizable bike. Get that large front tire and that cute color matched helmet, but man, that's scary. And uh, his girlfriend, or wherever she is, following him. He... So these are the outskirts of Armstrong. Kind of sneaking up on it the back way. Pretty nice little town. It's only about uh, maybe 20 minutes away from Vernon, which is a fairly large city for the Okanagan. On the right there, that's the IP grounds, the Interior Provincial Exposition uh, grounds. They do that uh, first weekend in September every year, usually. Don't think it's happening this year, but we'll turn down the one of the main kind of roads downtown here. It's called Okanagan Street. Like, yeah, Okanagan Street. Just at this four-way, and this will be where we basically end the video. So um, yeah, if you like this kind of thing, think about subscribing. But uh, other than that, I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks.